Hello and welcome to this quick overview of Echovox System 3. This is not a detailed um, video about all of the features, uh, functions. This is just a quick overview to go through the entire interface and let you know what everything does. I'm going to follow up with as many detailed instructions in video form as I possibly can. It's going to take a little bit while, a little bit, uh, a little while, because there are a lot of features in Echovox 3. Um, and a lot of the features interact with one another. So when you change one, it affects another, and that affects another, and there is a lot of changes. So I'm going to go through the new features, mostly um, assuming that you are familiar in general with EchoVox. Um, if not, this will get you bas basically up to speed as far as what is going on with EchoVox. The first thing I'd like to state is that EchoVox is not an entry-level ITC uh, research device. It is not a open up, install, uh, open up and click start and go thing. It's not the type of thing you install and go out and use for an investigation that night. The learning curve is high. Uh, there's a lot of features and after you learn how to use the software, even just going back over your audio is time consuming and uh, can be addictive and you will get results. Um, it doesn't generally take a lot, a long time, uh, but it, 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 it does tend to be, you know, addictive and uh, you'll spend a lot of time doing it. And with that, I'd like to introduce the first new feature, which is session name. And the reason is because people tend to run a lot of sessions. It's easy for them to get lost in the shuffle because normally they just say uh, recording and have the uh, time date stamp. Now you can name your session. Here I chose vid and uh, it will add that to your session name. So if you're at Bentley ba Manor and you're um, you, you can name all your sessions Bentley Manor, Main Room, or wherever you are. That way it's easy to find your session later on for review. <coughs> uh, familiar Echovox interface, uh, but for three we have a lot of new features. To go over the home screen, you have Menu, Mode, our Blend Channel Wheel, Start, Stop, and our three drawers, all of which slide from the left right and the new reverb from the bottom. Start is basically the on off switch for all of your noise. Echo controls are located in the left hand panel now. On this home screen you have your menu which is where you can select uh, files, share files, and you can also select your sound bank. For the sake of this video I'm going to use bank B. Bank A is the original bank. Bank B was added in an update. Bank C was added in an update. Bank B is Hindi language based, contains zero English whatsoever, um, and is used by Rob Damaris, among other people, um, internationally and catching results in all sorts of languages. So Echovox can be used in any language. Um, so I've selected Bank B, and on the right hand side we have a mode button. Just to just quickly describe what's happening with mode, um, there will be a detailed video about how mode works. But there's basically two modes of operation for Echovox. There's your regular traditional mode, which is you press start, all channels, which is now six instead of four, used to be A, B, C, D, now we have six, E, F. Now, when you press start, all channels from your selected bank start to play at the speed you selected slow or fast. That's the normal start. So you get something like this, all on fast, no echo, no effects. That's all channels playing from your selected bank. Now when you click mode and click, you'll get something that says mode burst. Now what happens is these sliders on the left and these on off switches no longer have an effect or are relevant. Your selected bank no longer has an effect or relevant. This channel wheel still works. Echo still, you should still have your echo going, etc. What happens is, is this changes the way we use Echovox. Now when you press start, what's going to happen is within the first 10 seconds, if you're in burst mode, Echovox is going to play, I'm going to say random a lot, but follow along. Echovox is going to play when you press start a random set of random sounds from random banks for a random duration uh, um, at a random t interval. So basically when you hit start you're gonna get a burst of sounds 
from all the banks, any banks, one bank, two bank, four banks, whatever. It could be five sounds, it could be a thousand sounds. They're all going to come out in a random order fashion, total random. After that first burst, anything is possible. Echo Vox could be quiet for up to five minutes and not do anything. It could make one little sound. It could do five bursts in 10 seconds that are, it's just noise going on and on. Um, it's totally unpredictable. It's a new way of using Echo Vox. And the way I suggest doing it is that you will basically start an echo and sit the device down on a table um, and, and tune your room and make sure you don't have any feedback. Put it in burst mode, click start, and let's see if we can um, let whoever we're speaking with um, turn burst mode, get it to start and stay, say what they want. Instead of having a constant string of syllables and sounds, now we have the opportunity um, to have it start and stop and have some breathing room between our captures. Um, so, and hopefully, as along with getting direct relevant responses, we also get direct relevant timed responses as well. So we might not get an answer to one question. We might get another, um, we, we might ask a question and get not only the correct answer, but we, it, it might turn on to answer the question, which is the goal here. Um, so that's burst mode. And like I said, I will get into further detail about that. And I apologize for the blurry uh, webcam quality here. This is important. You guys know what's going on here. Um, so Channel Blend now has six channels, two arrows instead of four dots. That means these are focal points. That means right here, I am primarily 100% volume on A and, and F of channel. Channel A and F of bank B is where I am. If you only have but now we have, I'll go over here, new feature, on, off. So you can turn, you have A, B, C, D, E, F. So what we want to do is we want to turn everything off, but A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay? So now we have two, two channels on. But you'll notice if I go like this, you don't hear them anymore. If you want to hear B and E, turn them on and then you can blend away from them. The focal point of the blend is much tighter, allowing for a stronger effect when we go over to here. Our auto blend, which is now speed selectable. You can do a fast blend. You can do a slow blend. Turn off a bunch of channels. And swing by them. Silence. And then we sweep by more randomness. To make it even more random, instead, another new feature is shuffle, which is just going to shuffle those two focal points in a random fashion, kind of sweeping by as sounds play. So not only are you hearing random sounds, but they're being played randomly, and they're also being mixed in a random fashion. Leading you to question how it's possible to get any results whatsoever when everything is so random. Over here on the left channel, we have our tried and true speed selectors for each channel in your bank. And like I said, you can turn them on or off now, which is amazing, which means so many combinations. Mic input gain is now a dial. I know on small devices, the dials might be hard to use. If you click just a little bit outside of it, it tends to help. On really small devices, you might need to use a stylus or something. Echo delay is now a, um, you're hearing my voice echoed now. I'm going to turn my microphone off. You're hearing just Echo Vox. Now let me show you the delay. Right now you're hearing Echo Vox. I'm going to put on the longest delay possible and talk, and then you'll hear the delay. The microphone, microphone back, on. back on. Now you're hearing the microphone, and now you're going to hear the delay. Hello, Echo Vox. So that's with a 10,000 millisecond, and you can adjust that anywhere between 0 milliseconds, 10,000 milliseconds. It's very touchy. It's, 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 it's a long range, but experiment and see what you can do. Another new feature is if you're one of the people that only use an external recorder to record your Echo Vox sessions, you can now click off, and you will still get streaming from disk, Echo, quote-unquote recording, but it won't be written to disk. Um, your recording will not be saved. If, if start on your echo 
record is off, you are not writing to disk. Yet, for Echovox to function, this start button needs to be pressed to be using it to its full potential. I know people are going to want to get lazy and just use the reverb. If you do not use the echo, you defeat the entire system, uh, taking the real time out. If it feeds back, turn down the mic input gain until your feedback stops. If your mic input gain is too low, you're not going to hear your mic input. You need to have a little bit. That's one of the, th the things about using Echovox is you need to do something called tune your room. Put your speaker in, your external speaker, start the echo with no sounds, and do it so you can talk and speak comfortably, hear a ringing echo within the room, and sounds do not feed back. Right channel. New features we just discussed, auto blend shuffle, channel shuffle speed. Load file. Share file, self-explanatory. It's a load of file to play back. This will open our file browser. And then here we go. We can open a file. Now we have play, rewind, fast forward, stop, pause. And three amazing features, all suggested by users over the years. People just begging me to make life easier in the field. So now you can. It is not a... Um, editor in the fact that you're going to load a file, apply these functions to it, and then save it that way. But in the field, you think you hear something. Now you have a timer, and this shows that it's 17 seconds long. You have playback speed, so you can slow the file down. You can speed the file up. And you can instantly reverse uh, on the fly. So let's play it backwards. Fast. So oh, that's 17 seconds backwards fast here's 17 seconds backwards slow and, and that's the normal just a test 17 second test ses session I ran at some point so that's a huge new feature that'll make life a lot easier for you guys in the field to just go over your over your stuff and the biggest addition I, I would say is the reverb the reverb is a very robust studio quality, professional musician studio quality uh, reverb. This ties into the very guts of the Android operating system and lets you get into every parameter available, which are nine parameters to control your reverb. Your presets, you can save them, name them, share them. They're uh, dot uh, .evrp files. EVRP, it's a text file, and you can go ahead and save it, load it. I'm going to load my favorite, which is called Death Whisper, then I saved it that I created. And you have intense reverb controls that are beyond the scope of any video I am ever going to make. If you want to know exactly what all these do, please simply go to Google and do some research on reverb. All of these are standard reverb decay uh, um, controls. So if you just want to learn more about how re relative decay works in um, in respect to decay and how they all tie together. The mathematics here are astronomical and probably need a college course to follow between how the sounds work with the reverb. So anyway, let me just show you how the reverb can affect the sound. I'm going to just start some sounds. I'm going to turn the reverb on. It's a huge change. We'll try a different preset. That's the same one. Try a different one. So, as you can see, the reverb really changes the sound a lot. And the reverb is a, is a, is a thing to learn in itself. It's an app within itself. So those are the new features. And quickly, uh, before I end this video, I'm trying to keep it close to 15 minutes. Um, quickly, you open up your app, you set up what you're going to do. To run an Echovox session properly, you learn your settings, learn your sounds, learn how to use everything. Then you're ready to start your session. You click start, start first on your Echo. Echo test. Okay. You want to record or not record, up to you. Echo delay, once it's set and start is pressed, cannot be changed. Okay. It's not live. You have to stop your recording. Change your echo delay and start again. Echo test. And then you would start your sounds. 
choose your blend or shuffle and start asking questions. You could have reverb. Hello? Can you say Echo Box demo? I hope you all enjoy the update. It's been a long road to bring it. And if you have questions, please join us on Facebook, Echo Vox Users Group. Uh, you get help from thousands of other people there. So I appreciate you taking the time, and I really can't wait to see what you all capture with Echo Vox. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.